Hey everybody, how are you? This is Leslie McGrath from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to My Muse for August 2019. So, My Muse, what I am busy doing and what is um, really uh, what I'm focusing on um, this week, this month. Um, Everybody, um, not everybody, but a lot of people in my creative year and across the YouTube platform, I noticed there's a lot of organization going on. So a lot of you know that I am a member of Gina Aaron's design team. And yeah, see, Gina came out with a lot of new stencils that I had to have. And so, yeah, there's 11 new stencils here and 12 new stencils here. And for my smaller stencils, they're all organized in this. And as you can tell, they're full to the brim and all used up. So what I did is I went and purchased some of these. Um, they're a little bit bigger than this size. Let me get the other one back here. As you can see, they're bigger and they're not as wide. Believe me, they're not as wide. Um, I keep um, binders like these. I use to keep Gina's um, stamps in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to adapt um, a new way of organizing these so that they will go in here. It might be a little bit wider out here, but I like the fact that I can open it up and flip it. See this, you can tell this is all ready for, for, um, uh, for stamps. I'm going to switch all those out. And what I'm going to use to do that is I have a boat ton of these page protectors. I also have a fuse tool. A lot of people got that fuse tool when they were uh, making uh, pocket letters and things like that. So I'm pulling out something, a blast from the past. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you one because as you can see, there are a lot. Let's see, there's 11 new stencils here and 12 new here. So that's 33. So that's at least 33 that I have to make. Um, I'm not doubling these up because um, I'll be adding to them. Because, you know, Gina's always coming out with new stamps and stencils. And, ooh, my tape just stuck to the back here. Okay, you'll see why I didn't want that stuck there because these little pieces of tape serve a purpose. All right, I'm going to try not to make this too long, guys. I know. I'm, I don't want to do that to you. All right, so I have my, um, my heat tool, my fuse tool um, heating up. And let me see if you can tell. It is the one with the rotary, with the spiky things on it, okay? So you can see that. And it does come with, oh, I taped it down. <laughs> it does come with a holder that you can, like, set it on so it doesn't burn your surface. And I happened to tape it down to um, the desk because it kept sliding off my desk. Okay, so I have this here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to line this up. This is a We Are Memories Keeper glass mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on this inside edge and this bottom edge here. Both of them are the closest to the inside. So make sure that's nice and even. And it is, and since this piece of tape is being a trouble child, I'm going to use you first. All right, so I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to kind of slide this across here like this. How many of you are um, working on organization? I know I am. 
Um, I'm getting ready to go back to school. School is my summer vacation is about over. So yeah, I want to uh, trying. I'm trying to get as much video taping done as I can so that I can spend some time with my new students and um, get to know them. Okay, now the one thing I've learned to do, let's see if you can see that. Do I need to bring you out? I don't know if I can bring you out. I can bring you in, but I can't bring you out. All right, so let's see if I set this up a little bit. All right, I'm just going to set it up a little bit here. Yep, you can see it better. Sorry for the glare. I'm working with some new lights. Okay, I know that I want this to be seven inches. So I'm going to set this right on the seven inch mark. And I'm going to take my Sharpie. And actually, I'm just going to go all the way down to the perforated part. Okay. Then I also know that I want to cut this a little bit below this second mark here. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now, here it is. I'm going to take my fuse tool. I'm going to line it up so that that black line is right here. I'm actually going to move it down just a little bit. It has grippies on the underside so it doesn't scoot too much. Oops. All right, there we go. Now, I'm holding that down. I'm going to take my fuse tool. I'll put it straight up and down here. And I'm going to go slow. I want to make sure that that wheel is moving. All right, and then I'm going to pick that up. And I know I'm going a little bit higher, but that's okay. I want to make sure that that's all good. And all right now, what I'm going to do is I want to let that cool a little bit. I'm going to set this off to the side right here. I'm going to put this back in the holder because I don't want to burn myself or anything around me because, you know, I've got stuff all over the place. Everything that I use, I will link in the description below. All right, so I'm going to pull this tape off. And so I'm not having to um, keep pulling out new tape. I just reuse the tape I have. I just take it off carefully. I'm just using four pieces of tape to hold this all down. Okay. So I have that. The next thing I'm going to do, and of course it's buried because, you know, that's just the way things go. I'm going to get out my Fisker's cutter. I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to line the cutting line up right there. So this is the top. Now, this is the line that we perforated, that we glued shut. And, you know, and the one thing I noticed, too, is that it might not feel like it's on the other side all the way, but we'll fix that in a second. 
Now, what I'm going to do with this, as you can see, um, I do use a Sharpie, so, but I do that for a reason. I take my Sharpie line and I line it up right along the edge there, but not on the cutting line. So when you set the when you set it down, this part down, you don't see the black sharpie because you've lined it up. That gives me a little bit of space, as you can see. See that? Gives me a nice amount of space there. Now where my black line is there, I'm going to line that up across the edge there. I'm going to pull that off. That's done. Okay, so now I have this lovely little piece. And I am going to take, this is an old one that I made. It was one of my um, uh, samples that I was working on. And I'm going to line this up. And it's going to tell me, so I already have a hole here, and I want to punch a hole here, I want to punch a hole here, and I already have a hole there. So I take that off, I grab my crocodile, and I use the big hole. This is... Um, I don't know what the size of it is, but there's two holes here. There's a smaller hole on this side and a larger hole on this side, and that's what I want to use. So I'm just going to pop that right in my crocodile like that. And I'm just going to give it a little wiggle because it's plastic. And I'm going to do the same with this hole here. And I'm just going to give it a little wiggle as well. And then I just kind of pull these out. And I'm going to pull this one out. Okay. So now I've got this one. And here's one that I made earlier. And let's pull this out here. Ooh, see, you know what? I set this down on top of that, and look what happened. Wasn't paying attention, and it and it melted. Watch what you're doing. Phew, that could have been dangerous. See, got to pay attention. In other words, don't let little kids handle this. You as an adult need to handle that. See, it's smoking a little bit because the plastic is burning. But that's all right. Go ahead and burn that all off. So now, as you can see, let me take two of Gina's new stencils. And these are cut by What If and See. And I will link to her down below. So now you can see that this fits right in here. And you know what? I do put a piece of paper behind here so that you can see it better. Oops, come back here. Okay. So then I can put this here using the top, and I can use this one using the bottom hole, and there we go. So they'll be they'll be in here, and I'll be able to label them here, and I'll be able to just flip through and find which stencils of Gina's I want to use. So two down and 30-something more to go.
So that's my muse for August 2019. This is what I'm doing. I'm organizing all my new stencils that I've got. So I am up to date and ready to create. I hope you all have a good August. Happy creating. And remember, be nice. It's not that difficult. Thanks, y'all. See you soon.